Hey guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I am here with a writing vlog. Um, <sighs> done some writing lately, and uh, I thought I'd talk about it, but I also have news that I really want to talk about. Excuse me, so, ignore right here. I got a little bit of a zit right there, so, mm, yeah, you know how bad those things are. Um... What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Um, so writing vlog, uh, I started writing some stories, obviously. Um, whoops. I started writing some stories. Uh, I'm editing a story right now. I'm also writing my novel. And I started writing Grey Matter 2. Yes, another story collection. Short story collection. Um... It's gonna contain stories that I previously, uh, like, there's a one story called Roadkill, um, which is about a guy who basically, uh, attacks a woman and steals her car, and he's driving down the highway, and he sees an animal in the middle of the road, and he could easily stop his brakes, he's out in the middle of nowhere, he could easily hit his brakes and just let the critter go. But he hits the gas and hits the critter. Well, it turns out stuff happens after that. So that's Roadkill. Then I have They Emerged from the Woods, which is an old story I wrote a while back. Um, I didn't think it was good enough for the first volume, the first uh, collection. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know what? It's actually pretty good. You know, I put a lot of work into that. So that's going into the collection. And then I have this one that I'm editing right now called The Lancer Witch. Um, it's about, uh, how do I explain The Lancer Witch? Um, well, it's about these kids, these two bullies on Halloween. And basically, they may or may not get their canuppance. Um... I'm not sure. I don't really remember how I wrote it. <laughs> but um, those are the three stories in it so far. It's going to be just like the first uh, collection where there's eight stories. Um, excuse me. Um, it should be good. Um, it probably won't be as impressive as the first one because, like I said, it took a whole year to write the first collection. Whereas it's already been like, what, three days and I already have three stories for the collection. So it's probably going to be good, but not as good as the first collection. Like I said, I hold everything out of myself to write that first collection. I know it's a short collection and I know it's not that big of a deal. I'm not acting like, I don't want to act like it's a masterpiece or anything like that. It's definitely not a masterpiece. It has its flaws, but um... I put a lot of work into the first collection and all I'm saying is don't expect the same amount of work to go in Grey Matter 2. I don't want to undersell it, like obviously I want you guys to buy it, but at the same time I don't want you to judge me because I, I think my writing is getting better. So the, you're going to get newer stories from me and they're going to be better because they're going to be written better because I've gotten better. but. The ideas aren't going to be the same, like Portal in the Woods was like totally original, I never, I, I don't know where I even came up with the idea about Portal in the Woods, but it just like, the name in my, it kind of hopped into my head, and then I made a story around that title, that's kind of how Portal in the Woods came about, but um, I have like more video, which I put a lot of work into, I, I have a lot of stories in that collection that I put a lot of work into. The only story I probably didn't put that much work into was uh, My Son Heard Santa on the Roof, which is probably the lamest story in that collection, but it finishes the collection off, um, and it's okay, um, but it's not the best I, I, I've ever written, so... But the Lancer Witch is pretty good so far. I like it, and uh, I'm <sighs> I'm editing it as we speak. It's like seven or no, it's eleven pages long. It's eleven pages long, and uh, it's like three thousand five hundred words. It's not that big of a story. Um, 
but it's a really fun story. It's kind of a Halloween story. It takes place on Halloween, but it's not about Halloween really at all. It's about this Lancer witch who lives in the water. So I think La Lorena, um, I think that's how you say her name. Um, think about her. Um, it's kind of like her, but different. So, um, it's like my own spin on it. So yeah, it should be fun. Um, I'm editing it and that's the fun part. So writing it sucks, but, um, I also have stories, um, such as, uh, I don't know. Um, a lot of stories I'm working on, to be honest. Uh, I have Zombie in the Elevator. I have The Thing in the Ward. I have The Laughing Epidemic. Uh, the Kid in the Black Hockey Mask. I just have a bunch of, like, spare blankets. I received an urn in the mail. Or it's just urn in the mail. I haven't decided yet. Doppelman. I just have a bunch of, uh bunch of stories that I haven't even touched in a long time they were just ideas I quickly wrote a few paragraphs and then I never I forgot about them so I have a bunch of stories that actually could make the uh I'm not saying any of those stories are going to make the gray matter 2 in collection but um I almost called it an anthology I learned that pretty early on that anthologies are different than collections anthologies even though they are collections, are stories written by different authors, whereas a collection is written by one author. So if you didn't know the difference, there you go. Um, I called my stuff an anthology for the longest time, and then my artist corrected me, and I was like, oh, damn, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> but I'm new to this whole thing, so. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of story ideas for uh, the Grey Matter 2. Coburn Ex Expedition one of, is one of my favorite ideas other than the Lancer Witch. Um, the Coburn Expedition is about a group of guys who who go out into the lake and great a great lake. I haven't decided which great lake. Probably Lake Superior. Or no, not Lake Superior. Um, not Lake Michigan. Um, St. Clair. Lake St. Clair? Great. Lake St. Clair, I think? I, I can't remember what lake I decided to pick. Um, but, uh, sorry, my tortoise was distracting me. He's doing some weird thing. I think he's blind, guys. I feel really bad about it, too. I don't know how he became blind, but he's blind. He's, like, trying to eat food that's not there. So it's, like, really weird. I'm really worried about him. But um, anyways, um, that is uh, my my some of my ideas for Grey Matter 2. Like I said, Road Kills in there, and I like that story a lot. It's a really good uh, story. A lot of my stories have to do with uh, karma, like people getting their karma, uh, their their dose of it. <sighs> but not all the stories are going to be karma related. But uh. Most of them are. Most of my stories, if you know me, are karma related. Like, someone does something bad, and as a as a as a effect of it, something bad happens to them. It's kind of my my coin. Like, it's what I write. You know, I like characters getting their canuppance. Um, karma's revenge. But uh. Yeah, that's besides the point, I guess. Um, my my uh, news. Uh, sorry, I totally blanked out. Um, what I really made this video about is the news that I got recently. Well, not news, but what I decided to do. So I got two things to tell you. One is I might have some of my work on a podcast in order to market my book a little bit. Um... I don't know how the podcast works. I haven't listened to it in a long time, but from my memory, I remember them. They interview the author really quickly. Um, they do a quick little interview where he talks about the stories and his collection. 
then they narrate a few stories from the collection and then it wraps up and they say buy gray matter now you know it's on sale for blah 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 so it's a really big opportunity i accidentally sent my uh collection to their editor by accident because i didn't know how to send um excuse me i wasn't sure how to send um my collection to them but they have a moksha portal or moksha portal and basically you send it through there and then they get it and they review it um so i just accidentally directly directly sent it to their editor and the editor said this is exactly what we're looking for this is great send it to the moksha portal and then they said to post it on horror writers association um for stoker consideration and i was like wow you really think that's that it's that good so um or maybe they were just being nice i don't know but uh i like to think the uh ladder i forget what the ladder means um it's either the first one or the second one I, I'm not smart guys not today. I usually know what this stuff means. I'm just slow today um, But yeah, I might be on a podcast um, To narrate my stories. It's called the pseudopod podcast um, Pseudopod is Great they narrated one of my favorite stories, which I actually forgot was one of my favorite stories It's not horror related per se it's it it's on a horror podcast but it's not horror per se it's about this gorilla who has who's has sentience i think that's the word i'm looking for and uh he talks and he basically is this like mastermind and an evil guy and um he has rivals he's rivals with uh this one guy who's kept him in a cage his whole life well the whole thing has to do with like putting your old folks in a home and it's a really sad story but it has a happy ending and i liked it a lot but that's besides the point um so i might have my collection featured on a podcast might i don't want to i mean i got a nice email from the, the editor but again that doesn't mean anything until they say yes you we're doing it so until they say <clears throat> Yes, we're doing it. I'm I'm not going to take I'm going to take it with a grain of salt is what I'm trying to say. Um my other news, my second news, um is that I'm getting my collection Gray Matter narrated. Right now I'm d holding auditions for narrations. Um I've gotten 3 auditions so far and two messages asking me about uh pay how I intend to pay and what my, uh, what my, what the due date would be, um, what my expectation is for that. And, um, I messaged them back and I'm waiting for a response. Um, so far I've gotten one really good narration. I've gotten another good one and then one that I, I don't want to say anything mean about it, but the girl sounds kind of like Barney, so it's really distracting, and I, I, I feel really bad. I feel really, really bad. Uh, she'd be great at narrating children's stories, but I, I just, I, 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 I hate being mean. I really hate being critical. Uh, but yeah, she, 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 yeah. I feel horrible. Horrible. Um, I don't like telling people that no you're not what i'm looking for <sighs> it's just it just hurts especially when someone worked up the courage to do it and yeah but uh that's besides the point um i keep saying that that's gonna be the video title uh writing vlog slash that's besides the point <laughs> <laughs> um other than that, though, there's not much to really talk about. Um, I'm writing my short story collection, my second one. I'm writing my novel, Symbiotic. And, uh, 
I have the money to get my stories edited, but I'm looking for a proofreader right now because in all honesty, I've had my stuff edited before. I just need proofreading at this point. And uh, I'm looking for a proofreader. And yeah, we'll see what we find. But uh, the book is coming out. Um, the second book I, I'm releasing is coming out probably sometime. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna be looking at two months for proofreading and editing. Then I'll pay my artist 25, which I've already paid him 25 for the wraparound. Um, so yeah, um, I, I already paid for the wraparound. I'm just waiting for formatting or not formatting. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, proofreading and editing. So then I can, um, so I can format it myself, which I found a way to format it myself, which is very, very cool. Um, very useful site called Readsy. So that's very, very useful. Um, and yeah, uh, what else to say? What else to say? What else to say? Um, oh. Um, I may be getting two of my stories narrated, and, um, it's gonna be on YouTube. It's a way to help market my book. Um, I don't know when it's gonna be coming out, but, uh, I contacted my teacher, and my teacher, uh, works with Chilling Tales for Dark Nights, and, uh, we talked a little bit about, uh, sending um my stories to her so she can get the narrator stuff and narrate it i'm going to have otis gyrie narrate no smoking and then i'm going to have a girl named erica narrate uh highway to hell so that's really cool um it will be on megan meehan's channel not chilling tales for dark nights channel unfortunately i could not uh contact craig for uh uh the talk about maybe marketing my book um He's a very busy guy so don't hammer him at all um like i said he's he's a really cool good dude and really cool dude and he's just very very busy he takes on way too many projects at once so he just has no time to respond to me um but i've helped Sh uh chilling tales for dark nights with uh donations I donated two hundred and fifty dollars to their book that they're trying to make. Um, I did receive some stuff for it, but I just I don't know. I'm part of their Dead Canary writing group. I haven't really done much in the group other than supply a story called Portal in the Woods. But um, other than that, it's just Lulu's barking in the background. Um, it's just, it's kind of frustrating, to be honest. Um, I've done a little bit for them, and I thought maybe I can get a little bit back. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, so. But it's fine. It's no big deal. Um, I love Chilling Tales for Dark Nights to death. I'll always support them. Um... I just was hoping that maybe I can get in contact with Craig Groshek and uh, we could talk about maybe marketing my book. I'm not sure though. Um, but Megan Meehan's gonna do it on her channel. So that's really nice of her. Um, she's gonna have Otis narrate it and Erica narrate it. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I think Otis is perfect for no smoking because no smoking is about an old bitter man who smokes. So he's got that old raspy voice and so does uh, Otis Shirey. So it's going to work perfectly. And I'm sure Erica is going to do great with uh, Highway to Hell. But uh, as always, that's my writing vlog. Um, I talked about a little bit of Grey Matter 3, about the podcast, and about... About... Uh, my narration for my book, my audiobook. Um, I will I will keep you up to date about the audiobook and the podcast and the Grey Matter too, obviously. But in the future, I might not do as many writing vlogs as I do do. 
I said do do. <laughs> uh, I probably won't do a lot of um, writing vlogs um, because I'm trying to keep stuff secret. No, well, not really a secret, but I don't want to keep updating you guys with stuff that might happen. So um, I just wanted to tell you why I'm so excited right now. Um, and yeah, but that's been a writing vlog. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you have a spooky night. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Now I am become death, the destroyer.